what's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download basically any previous version of the Windows 10 ISO that you can use to install specific older versions of Windows 10. This video should also apply to Windows 11 when it comes out in full release. I'm pretty sure that the developers of this program will also include different download links for all of the Windows 11 ISOs as well. Why exactly would you want to install a previous version of Windows? Well, assuming you'd like to clean reinstall Windows or simply reinstall an older version of Windows on another device, such as for compatibility reasons for software, etc, etc, then this is something you're going to have to do at some stage if you need to do it. So how exactly do you? Well, the official Microsoft download link unfortunately doesn't let you download previous versions of the Windows ISOs. So where exactly can we get them? Well, usually you'll find links on non-official sources, and of course you'll find ISOs in unofficial sources, but that's not the best thing you should be doing, especially when you need to trust something like your operating system. This program that I show you over here in this video will simply link you across to the official Microsoft download links and download from official Microsoft servers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. In the description down below, you'll find a link to rufus.ie. You've probably already heard of this tool. Basically, you can use it to burn an ISO for any operating system onto a USB and create a bootable drive from it. This way, you can install Windows, Linux, basically anything else from a USB, really simply by just restarting your computer and booting into it. Something this program offers is downloading older versions of Windows 10, and it's probably the easiest way to get older versions. So anyway, when you get across to this link, go ahead and look under the download section and click the latest version. It doesn't matter if you click the full version or portable, they're exactly the same at this point. Anyway, I click the first one and I'll open it up. After saying I trust my computer to run this program, this window over here appears. On the right hand side, we'll be looking for the select button and a down arrow next to it. If you don't see a down arrow where you can select download, what you need to do is at the very bottom, click this little settings button, the show application settings button, and then you'll see this page here. Simply change check for updates to daily and then click check now. After it does a quick update check, click close, close, and you should see this arrow appear after a couple of seconds to about a minute or so. You may also need to restart Rufus in order for it to appear. Note that when you do open Rufus, you might not see it for a short while while it's checking their servers. Anyway, after you click this little button and you click download, you'll be able to click the now download button. It'll download a small file, run a small script, and we see this pop up here. Version Windows 10, 8.1 and 7. If we choose 7 or 8.1, you'll notice that there's only one version available for download for both Windows 7, Windows 8, and then Windows 10 has all the different versions like I mentioned earlier. Now, of course, when Windows 11 comes around, they should have support for this, at least I would think. So if you're looking for a particular old version of Windows 10, this is the best place to get it. Let's say we want to download 19H1, this build over here. Simply select it, click continue, and you'll see this window expands. You can choose the addition to Home Pro or Education, continue, choose a language for it, continue, and then choose an architecture type, which can be 64 and 86 bit. Though with Windows 11, when it does eventually get added, if it does, they'll only be 64 bit. At the very bottom, we'll see a download using browser button, and I'd recommend ticking this if you'd like to get a link to share with someone else who may need it, or with another device that needs to download it. Why would you need to do that? Well, you can't run this program on Windows 7 for some reason, or at least the people that I talked to didn't get it to work there. If you're experiencing that issue, try and run it on a computer with Windows 10, and then make sure that the download using a browser button is checked. As far as I know, this requires PowerShell version 3.0 or higher, which I think comes along with Windows 10 or maybe Windows 8. Anyway, now that I've selected download with a browser, if I click download, a new page will open and it will immediately start downloading the ISO in my browser, all five gigs of it. If I click show all and zoom in on this page over here, you'll see softwaredownload.microsoft.com, the official Microsoft website. It's that simple. If you need to share this link with another device, simply right click the link here and then click copy link address. Whether you're using a Firefox, Chrome, or anything like that, the step should be somewhat the same. Anyways, once it's done downloading, if you'd like, you can go ahead and change this back to select, then select the ISO that we just downloaded and burn it to a USB device to boot your computer into, boot another computer into, etc, etc. It's really simple, and it's nice that it's built into the program. But anyways, that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!